see here. Okay, it's recording. Ah. Ah. So, my voice might sound a little different because it was uh, got down to about 18 degrees last night. I had my door, or not my door, but my window open in my room. So it was a bit cold this morning. But uh, I had a couple people ask for a uh, delivery video. I don't know how well it's going to pick up, but because of how high this camera sits on my head. I don't have any tilt or anything, but <clears throat> all right, so for a start. All right, so this is my truck, or my trailer. Out of this customer, I'm delivering regular and premium. Now you can see I have uh, Petro dials on each one of my uh, loading heads. Well, discharge valves or tubes, whatever you want to call them. I have them set to empty, just because I know those are, you know, I have all the same product. But I changed this one to premium just to make sure I remember I got premium in there. For this store, they have two uh, two gas tanks. They got regular and premium. Now, when you're at a gas station, uh, you know you'll notice that you got you can choose regular, pre uh, regular, mid grade, or premium. All mid grade is because if you look at their tanks, all they got is a premium tank, which is the red top, and a regular tank, which is the white top. All mid grade is is a uh, it's a blend of regular and premium together. It, it's not exactly its own kind of fuel. But anyway, when I get to a stop, I got to open up all these valves, which are my belly valves. And in the trailer, uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but in the trailer, there's a valve up there on the very bottom of the tank that controls whether you know any fuel is going to flow out or not. This is a master uh, valve that opens up my vapor and everything else to allow my trailer to breathe. And I'll show you one in a minute whenever I hook up vapor recovery for gasoline. And then each one of these numbers is each compartment in my trailer. Now, uh, some gas trailers, uh, I mean, you can have as many compartments, as far as I know, you can have as many compartments as you need. All I've ever seen is up to, I think, six compartments on one trailer, uh, but it was a lot longer. All of ours are five compartments or four. And each one of these compartments are separated with a bulkhead inside the trailer. And so I got my front compartment, which can hold 3,000 gallons. And 1450 for my second compartment, 1050, 1000, and then 2600. This trailer will hold, if I you know top it all off, it'll hold around 92, 9300 gallons. Um, because I can actually, those compartment sizes are a little bit bigger than what we put on the uh, loading heads. Just because we try to go 50 gallons under what the maximum is, just to make sure we don't overfill our trailer. Uh, all right um, this right here is called vapor recovery it's usually only it normally it's only found with gasoline and every now and then you'll find it with diesel too just depending on uh, I guess any like state or local regulations but uh, for gasoline the vapor when you're dropping fuel into these tanks you know it's gonna push you got air inside the tanks on top of the fuel that you know it has to go somewhere and so to keep it a closed system and keep the EPA happy, 
they have vapor recovery which while you're dropping fuel it's pushing vapor out of the tanks pushing vapor out of the tanks and then I come about to connect a hose and it's gonna go up into back into my trailer keeps it all on a closed system that way you don't have gasoline vapors just escaping out into the atmosphere All right, and then I have these fittings that go on to the tubes. And I'm gonna stick these tanks real quick. Now I already know my fuel's gonna fit that I brought. Because I got a printout from inside that tells you how much fuel they can hold, how much they have in the ground. And stick, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera or not. They're at 24 inches, which is also what it says on the on my printout. And this one should be around 70, 74 inches, I believe. Yeah, 71 inches. I've got 7,500 gallons of regular gasoline I'm dropping. And only 1,005 gallons, well really just 1,000. About a thousand gallons of uh, a premium. When I've got regular and premium on the trailer, I try to get the premium going first just to make sure I'm dropping the right product into the right hole. All right. All right, open up the valve. And you can see the fuel flowing through the sight glasses. The sight glasses also help, also help for you to see when that compartment empties out. Now, I delivered diesel here just a minute ago that's why I got these caps in my hoses keep the diesel from spilling out into my hose tray and then it gets all over your hoses because diesel diesel does not evaporate like gas does it will it just it doesn't evaporate as fast and anytime you before you pull the line or open up the line you trace your hose back, make sure it's connected, make sure it's going to the right place. Uh. That's it, I got a thousand gallons of premium flowing into the premium tank I pulled a handle on this one I only got 2900 regular in my front tank and it's going around into the regular tank and right now it's pretty much just sit and wait once it empties out which the premium should empty out pretty soon you'll see it in the sight glass on the trailer a thousand gallons uh, as long as the vapor is working all right and uh, you don't have any obstructions in the hose or uh, your belly valves open all the way you know things like that then you shouldn't have any problems and it should uh, should drop a thousand gallons in probably about two minutes maybe even less so usually usually the fuel there it goes the fuel on my trailer empties out usually around 500 to 600 gallons a minute and then with that vapor recovery 
with that air being pushed out of the tanks or the vapors being pushed out of the tanks in the ground and back into your trailer it almost acts like a vacuum almost like it's putting pressure on your trailer to get that fuel out even faster all right we're done with the premium now I can disconnect I walk the hose down which is just ah. Pull it up, make sure I get all the fuel out of the line. Close the valve, disconnect the hose. Take my fitting off, put it back in the trailer, close up this, uh, put my cap back on, change it to empty, still got the regular going. Uh. All right. I stick it, it's about 29 and a half. I'll round it up to 30. So you got about 30 inches of premium in there now. Was at 24. Now it's at 30. Premium's done. And when the regular's done, I'll just switch compartments. This regular take a little bit longer just because it's, you know, 2,900 gallons compared to 1,000 gallons. Definitely going to take a little bit longer to empty out. It's still about 50 degrees out here in Jacksonville, Florida. About 50 degrees, wind's blowing, so it feels like it's probably about down in the 40s right now. This is mostly my job. Is uh, The hardest part about my job, in my opinion, is just, you know, Try not to be bored while sitting around waiting for fuel to either load or unload. Yeah, I still got, uh, said, I got 26 in the back. So I got 40, I still got 4,600 gallons to go. Um, there's really not a whole lot else to go over, I guess. But that's just what we do for one of our customers. And, uh, I'll probably just end the video here. <laughs> I don't know, you know, what else to really talk about. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could probably come up with something, but uh, yeah, I think I'll end it here. I mean, it's pretty much just sitting and waiting for uh, the rest of my compartments to sit there and go go through all of them and let them empty out. You can see this one's starting to go. Uh, this one you can see over here. 
starting to be out. Yeah, but uh, that's about it, I guess, <laughs> for delivering fuel.